Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie. Today I would like to show you how to crochet this beautiful and soft and delicious headband. It is made in a mixture of baby merino, kid silk and mohair yarn. So it just has a very soft and delicious feel to it. It's also really fun and fast to make. And I actually made one more in this nice beige color. But without any further ado, let's just get started. For today's project, I am going to use just one skein of Drops Baby Merino in color number 38 Olive. I will also need one skein of Drops Kid Silk in color number 34. And it's just a very beautiful dusty green color. I will also need a 5 millimeter crochet hook and a darning needle. To begin, we are going to hold these two strands of yarn together and make a slip knot. So I'm going to form a loop and take my working yarn behind the loop and grab the working yarn with my crochet hook and pull tight. And then I'm going to chain 92 plus 1. So 93 chains in total. I will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And I will make sure not to make my chains too tight here in the beginning. To start my first row, I'm going to skip the first chain here from the hook and make a half double crochet into the second chain here from the hook. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And again, yarn over. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And I will just repeat that all the way across the row, so I will have 92 half double crochet at the end of the row. Here I am at the end of the row, so I'm going to chain one and I will turn my work. And row two is going to be made a little bit differently. We are only going to work into the back loops of the stitches. As you can see here, I have two little legs here of the stitch. So when working in the back loop only, I'm only going to pick up this back one. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And I will just do that into every back loop of the stitch across the row.
And as you can see, when working in the back loop only, I will create this beautiful ribbing effect. And here at the end of the row, I'm going to insert my hook into both loops of the stitch. So I will just make a normal half double crochet here into the last stitch. And I'm doing that just to make the edges here a little bit more firm and easier to work with in the end. So to start row 3, I'm going to chain 1. And I will turn my work. And row 3 to row 14 is just going to be made in exactly the same way as row 2. So I will make a half double crochet into every stitch, working only in the back loop. And here you can actually get a little bit confused because it looks like there are three loops in the stitch. One here in the front, and one here in the top, and one in the back. But it's always the one that is furthest to the back that you will work into. And I will just continue each row until I have a total of 14 rows. And here at the end of row 14, I'm going to fasten off my yarn. But I'm going to leave a bit of a long tail here for sewing the edges of the headband together. So I will cut my yarn. And I will tie a knot. Like so. And you can now just take a look at your headband here and see which side you think will be best to use as the front side. And I think that the back side here of my headband is actually going to be the front. I think it's more pretty that the first row here is turning inwards, like you can see here, instead of outwards, like you can see here on the other side. And I will just fold my headband in half, like so, and place the two front sides together. Then I will attach my needle to the thread, the two threads exactly, and I will just sew the edges together using the mattress stitch. So I will insert my hook here into the stitch on the opposite side and pull my yarn through. And again insert into the stitch on the opposite side and pull through. And I will just continue all the way down along the edges.
And here at the end, I'm just going to tie a little knot. And I will weave in the yarn tails here. And I will just leave the last yarn tail here and turn my work with the right side out. And I will just lay my headband down flat like so. And I will start creating a little gathering here in the front. So I'm going to fold the front side here like a small harmonica. So I'm going to find the middle here and fold it like so. And then tick the middle here and fold it like so and do the same here on the other side and to secure this gathering I'm just going to stitch through it with my needle and with the last of the yarn tail so I'm just going to go through all layers a few times So now that it's all nice and secure, I'm just going to tie a little knot here in the end. And I will weave in the yarn tail on the back side. And now we are going to make this little band here in the middle. And again, I'm going to start with making a slip knot. So I'm going to form a loop and take my working yarn behind the loop and grab the working yarn with my hook and pull tight. And then I'm going to chain 24 plus one. So 25 chains in total. I will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. To start the first row, I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and I will make a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. So I will insert my hook, pull up a loop and pull through the loop on the hook. And I will make a slip stitch into every chain across. And make sure not to make your slip stitches too tight. Then they will be very difficult to work into in the next row. And to start the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And for row two, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the back loop of every stitch across. So I will insert my hook here into the first stitch and pull up a loop and pull through the loop on the hook. And again into the back loop of every stitch.
to start the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And from row three to row 18, I am just going to repeat row two. So I will make a slip stitch into the back loop of every stitch across. And here at the end of row 18, I will fasten off my yarn. And I'm now ready to attach this little band to the headband. And I will place it right here in the middle. And I will turn the inside out. And I will just stitch the edges here together with the mattress stitch. So I will insert my hook into the stitch on the opposite side from the middle and pull through. And I will do that all the way down. And here at the end, I'm just going to tie a little knot. And I will weave in the yarn tails. And to make sure that the band here stays in place, I can always just grab a few strands of the headband. And I can now just turn the right side of my headband out. And here is what my headband looks like when it's all done. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to let me know down in the comment section or give this video a like. Have a really wonderful day. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.